Hey guys, it's Brandy. I wanted to do a quick tutorial on painting a wooden dragonfly. Uh, these I had purchased last year before Mike, uh, before actually AC Moores went out of business. And I know like you can buy other wooden figurines like this at like Michael's and even Walmart and other places like maybe Hobby Lobby. Um, but I'm not sure about the dragonfly, but, uh, probably you could, I haven't looked, but anyway, I wanted to, uh, show you guys what you can do with one of these. Um, I'm actually going to turn these into magnets and I wanted to just show you what you can make this look like. All right. So first I'm going to, this is, since it's just wood. I'm going to paint the entire thing black. So I'm going to be using the Deco Art Americana uh, acrylic paint on, in black. So it's just a fluid paint. I pour all my paint in these little containers. These are, um, these are just uh, caps from my Gatorade bottles. But if you just paint, I'm going to do this really quick. If you just paint... Uh, the entire wooden ornament in one color it gives you a nice base to apply your uh, dots to. I like to use black because it makes the dots really pop. So I am going to pause this so I can finish painting because I'll do the whole sides and uh, everything. So I'm going to pause this. Once you have your ornament or your wooden figurine painted front and back and dried, uh, then you can start applying the dots. So I am going to uh, start that now. First, I'm gonna do, these look like little eyes to me. You, you can do anything you want with your wooden figurine. Um, I'm gonna make it look like a little dragonfly. So I'm gonna use some Decoar Americana white. And these are crochet hooks. I like to use the bottom ends of the crochet hooks. So I'm using the small tool to make eyes. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna, one there. I'm actually gonna give them some really large eyes. Make sure you have a rag to wipe the tip off once you're done. Um, oh, and I, I use the white quite a bit, so I put them in these little containers so I can uh, just cover it up and save it. It makes it easier for me. Okay. Um, next, I'm going to use more crochet hooks for the larger dot. And for this, my favorite color is the Deco Art metallics paint it's the white pearl i actually have tons of this paint this is a small container <laughs> and then this is a very large one i go through this stuff because it's my favorite my favorite color so i just dip and for this if you hold your tool straight up and i find if you have your hand resting on on the table you have more control and then wipe off the tip. If you have like a gob of paint in the middle, I sometimes will just spread it around a little bit, but. Uh, and I wanna make it look tapered, big dot down to little dots. So I'm gonna go down to the next size, crochet hook. So let's do this. I'm just going to continue. And For these, I'm actually going to, once this white pearl paint dries, I'm going to add another color on top of it. But for now, this is just a nice base. There. OK. 
Okay, so while this dries, I'm going to continue for this. You, as long, it doesn't matter what you do for a pattern, as long as it's the same on the other side, it's totally fine. So I'm gonna, kind of like a butterfly, how they have the dots and I have like little lines. They have little dots on the edges. I'm gonna do the same over here. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six dots. I'm gonna do that over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And if any of your dots are a little wonky and mine are, I'm going to just go over it just a little bit. Actually, I think I'm going to walk the dots all the way down. If you keep going, they get smaller and smaller because you have less and less paint. The other tools I'm using besides crochet hooks are these stylus dotting tools that I got at Michael's. I do like these. I use these quite often. They have different tips. They're just round and some of them are really pointy where the small pointy ones you can do really small dots. And I'm going to use the small, the smallest one. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. But if I do, let's do this. And definitely keep your hand rested on the table so you have more control of where you place these dots. Find if you have your hand hovering, it's really hard to place it. And you'll see I'm uh, I had paint on my hand, so this little bit on here, no big deal. So if you take your black, which I like, um, if you have your background paint and I have the black, you can just uh, go over that to cover it up. So I'm gonna do that now, and it will dry. So there. That's kind of like a, an eraser. I'm a messy painter. That's why I have the cardboard underneath. <laughs> okay. Next, we're going to do a... Uh, I want, because it's a dragonfly, I'm actually going to do shades of like a teal color. So I'm going to use peacock teal, a teal mint, and possibly the sour apple. So let me, I already poured them in these little containers. Let me see if, I, this one's almost empty. Okay. And it really doesn't matter what you do for a design, but I'm gonna, Trying to make it even somewhat. And for this,
there. And I'm going to still, for this, I'm using the, oh, the crochet hooks quite a bit. I'm going to keep this dragonfly a little simple. But so you can just see it's just about. Oops, and I, I am a messy painter because I'm getting paint all over the white. I can see I have a glob on its on his eye. Which is okay because once it dries, I'll just go over that. And so whatever you do with one side, just do to the other side. And going to call the top wings done and for the bottom wings I kind of wanted to go a little bit you know to go to match um, but I'm going to do a lighter shade over here and I'm going to how I did the whites on the top I'm going to do it on the bottom that's how I'm going to do it it doesn't One, two, three. One, two. And let's. I may add a couple more. This shade is the teal mint that I had shown you guys earlier. And I'm going to do Oops. If the paint gets too thick, you can kind of tell if it gets too thick and gobby, you can add a little bit of water to it. Or a glazing medium if you want. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna do for the wings. And for the body, I'm gonna use the sour apple and might need to add a little bit more to 
this container. So I'm using sour apple. And I am going to uh, actually it's whatever is pleasing to you. I'm gonna just add a little bit of white there. The white pearl. And then the rest of it, I'm going to fill in, just add lots of dots of uh, the sour apple. a smaller tip so I can fill it in just a little bit more. to touch up that eye just a little bit get a really small paintbrush tip and get some white and kind of paint that all right next I need to dry this so I'm going to pause the video Okay, so it's somewhat dry. There's a few wet spots, but I'm gonna call it good. And I'm gonna work on the eyes. So I'm gonna add some black. So I did a larger white dot and then over it, I'm gonna do a tool that's a little bit smaller and kind of place my eyes like that. Okay, and once the eyes dry, I'll add a couple dots to give it a reflection. And actually, I probably will outline the eyes just a little bit with the pearl, that pearl paint again. So let's see if I did... And then the white pearl in the middle, I'm actually going to go over that with a metallic blue topaz. It's in the 
teal family. I'm going to go over that. Okay. Well, with this metallic paint that you, uh, it, it is very goopy, so you kind of make sure you don't have any drips before you place it. Carefully hover over and center it. I eye it. And slowly lift it because you'll see a tail. See, it's there now. Okay. And go to the smaller size one and add another one. I still want to see the pearl, so I don't. I don't completely cover it, but. and then there. All right, and that's my dragonfly. Hope that you can see that, but I will. Yeah, I will add a couple white dots to the eye just to give it a reflection. There. All right. So you can see, you can actually have a lot of fun with these wooden um, little characters. Um, I have actually purchased quite a, f quite a few of them last year when uh, AC Moores went out of business. So but I'll just give you an idea of some things I've done. Here's one. Different patterns. You really can have a lot of fun. I found a bear. It's a little shiny because I added an acrylic. I mean, I added a gloss varnish to it. This is the gloss varnish I love to use. Um... found a couple of turtles. I've just varnished these, so they're causing a glare, but and then there's another bear. Dragonfly, dragonfly, and for all these, I'm gonna actually make them into fridge magnets. But if you wanted to, you could drill a hole and make them into ornaments or pins if you wanted to. But um, that's what I'm planning on doing with that: is making these into fridge magnets, and then these are actually going to be available on my Facebook page uh, the weekend of Thanksgiving. I'm doing a little live stream shopping spree. Okay, I hope that helps. I'll put uh, information in, uh, I'll put uh, information of, as to which tools I'm using, and but I do hope that helps. You can kind of see what I'm doing, and um, if you have any questions, just let me know. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.